Hey there, this is Vassar Vimes, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. Last time, we cleared up Tali's loyalty mission, which, while not being as uh, thought-provoking as Morden's, definitely tugged on the heartstrings, definitely, in a major way. I am 400% ready to blaze through the last two loyalty missions. There's only two left, so I'm kind of boggling at that. Um, but, uh, but not before talking to a couple of my buddies, starting with... Morden over here. Hi, Morden. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean collector connection, can examine technology, chart reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Oh, that sounds interesting. Give me the juicy details. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Okay. Is there any possibility that they have any kind of remote control to to compensate for that because I've been wondering about that uh, well you know oh what is it the har harbinger guy whenever we go into battles with the collectors whether that has to do with the the reapers in a more direct way can they be saved I really doubt it is there anything we can do to help them no no glands replaced by tech no digestive system replaced by tech no soul. Replaced by tech. Whatever they were. Gone forever. Understand now? No All right. culture closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. Interesting that he views art and culture as what makes what makes a soul, what makes something sentient. Tell me about, yeah, tell me about art. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Oh, Not really? Species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter song. Oh my god, that'd be Not perfect for Cultural him. artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution, interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, I do kind of want to know more about the Gilbert and Sullivan days. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model oh of God. a scientist Salarian. I've studied species <laughs> Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. This is My amazing. My science studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. I am just in a state of bliss. Although if I, if I can manage a small critique, that was quite slow for a patter song. What's that about? You talk very quickly. Um, oh, I want to talk about that more. I wanted to be able to make a comment. And she's just so straight-faced. Not amused at all. That was amazing. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. I never doubted that you would. I mean, I never doubted that you wouldn't. What am I trying to do with negatives here? I'm just gonna drop it. You know what I mean. What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Hmm. 
saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. It's very big of you to accept that responsibility. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Oh, well, obviously. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came, disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. I want to know more about what the Krogan were before... before all of the extra... not extraterrestrial. Extra... to... chonkiel? I don't know. Um... Interference. Oh, that covers it. But you re-sterilized them. We've already covered this. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. I wouldn't dream of any other way. So great. How about you, Kasumi? You got any words? Hey, Shepard. Hi. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. It is. She knows. We should we should have some kind of poker thing. We should we should get together and have a drink. Us three. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. I I think Ka Gabby could do better. I'm gonna be honest. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. I know. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I would- I just love the idea of Kasumi and Talia's friends. That would be adorable. Along with Shepard, obviously. Speaking of Tally, I'm here to talk to her. Hello. Keela, I'm sorry I dragged you into Quarian politics. It was very All interesting. All infighting, seeing what my father did. You were the only one there for me, Shepard. The only cover I had against that storm. Thank you. Don't- don't even mention it. Any time. Absolutely any time. Are Quarian politics always like that? No. Sometimes it can actually get unpleasant. We're a very social people, Shepard. We have to be, to make up for being stuck in these suits. And part of that means getting involved in each other's business. Well, I mean... I think the issue definitely called for some politics. <laughs> it wasn't just Rail Zora's business that Geth had taken over that ship. Like, it wasn't like they were prying into their family affairs or something. I mean, it did turn out to be about family, obviously. But it was also about robots taking <laughs> over a spaceship at the same time, so... I imagine they're trying to fill your father's spot on the Admiralty board. That's insensitive. Well, the balance of power. I have no idea. Being exiled might have made it easier. A few people are suggesting me as a candidate. Really? Placing an admiral takes time, though. You may not have noticed, but Quarians like to debate. Well, I've only been to a trial. I mean, that's not the, uh... That's not the best sample. Obviously, there's gonna be debate. She did deserve better. She deserves the galaxy. The whole trial was insulting. You should have had time to mourn your father. I don't think life is about what you deserve. But my father would be honored that I chose to mourn him by blowing up a lot of gas. <laughs> I should get back to work. But thanks for checking on me. I hope you have more to say after this. Because you had just shamefully little to say after I picked you up. What about you guys? Words? I don't have words. Alright. Hi, Grant. What's shaking? He's psyched. Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. That's they exciting. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the, what are they, the, the things on his head pulled apart? Ah! Bet it caused a generation of revenge. Ah! What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? That's disgusting. He freaks me out. <laughs> Some, someday I'm going to have a proper conversation with Grunt and not be severely disturbed by the violence that goes on in his head. 
Don't wear yourself out on someone else's memories. We've got our own bad guys to fight. Really down. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll shove the collector's claws where a dark sun can't shine. <laughs> and they will deserve it. I won't disrespect their strengths by doing less than the worst of them. Our, our battle strategy tends to be fairly straightforward. It tends to be just kind of like the bullet in the face. It's, it doesn't really get too creative the way you seem to want it to. That's the kind of thinking that will save a galaxy. I don't have a problem you with him being aggressive against Shepard. them. You're my battle master. You give me purpose. That's what makes Krogan feared soldiers and not animals. Lead well, Shepard. You have my respect. Well said. Especially the respect bit. I like respect. Thank you. Alright, it is Omega time. We're going to Omega with uh, Samara. Alright, uh, Samara, let's just have the, uh, the last two members be a team. I haven't, uh, allotted any points to Samara in a while because her, her bonus power sounds really interesting. I could just reassign her points later, of course. No, you're not Neil, I've already talked to you. Wait, okay. Because we already got information about this. Find the apartment of Morin's latest victim. Okay, where are the apartments? Apartments are there, oh, okay. okay. You guys- You told me about Jacob, didn't you? What? Jacob, these people know you. That's an interesting coincidence. Would they have known someone else that I brought? Jacob Taylor? I certainly didn't expect to see you again. I'm sure you didn't. No, please. Not friends, then. So many years have passed since Tortuga. Lots of water under the bridge. Tortuga? They have a space Tortuga? Of course they do. I take it you've met each other before? Oh, yes. We worked an important job a few years ago. A few very long years ago. You sent me into a nest of Turian thugs in a Batarian ambush. It's not very Anyhow, nice. My job was to get you inside. Anything more would have cost you extra. I'm guessing that we can't trust Ish, but I like that name. I actually have a, uh, a character called Ish. In, 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 in a novel I'm working on. Is this going to be a problem? If we don't walk away, I promise he'll give you a reason to shoot him. Okay, well, what, what does he want? sounded like you were watching us, Ish. You need something? Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. I have a lot of money. About Ish. Is this asking Jacob? What kind of business do oh, you no. do? It isn't. Important business. So important that, with your help, we can change Omega. That is the most vague thing. What do you need, I'm though? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Specifically, the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. That sounds really boring. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? I'll take it up, and then maybe there's a way I can, like, turn it back on him or something. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Ugh. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. That sounds see you alive, Jacob. really dull. I'll probably do that off screen. Apartments, there we go. Is this open before? Is this. Hello? Hi. Are you here about my daughter? Oh, yes. Yes, my we are. I died a week ago and no one seems to care. Aww. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nep, my baby. Oh, that's kind of awkward between her and Samara. My daughter killed your daughter. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you? 
one of Arya's people? I'd like to be, but I'm I'm not. I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. This is really sad. More sad than I expected it to be, especially, I mean, even from the standard that we have to kill Samara's daughter, apparently. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. Aww. Clearly lost someone special. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. You said, spent yeah. most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. There you go. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Oh, God, not clubs. That's horrible. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. Doesn't need she drugs. Loves the club. Loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this morning did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... That... Yeah. I will bring justice to the one that did this. I don't... Yeah, we can't promise that, but Once we probably we will. Facts, we'll decide on a course of action. If you find the person that hurt my nephew, you kill her. Or tell me where she is and I'll kill her. Smart prob... Well, I don't know. I don't know whether she'll have like a moment of weakness when once he, she actually finds her daughter. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Does it? So she's talked to previous victims? Or previous vic- no. She obviously has not talked to previous victims. It doesn't make sense. Previous victims loved ones. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change to get that so password. Sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. That's horrible. Starting to see why she's as uh, dangerous as Samara said. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. <laughs> My baby is gone. She's gone. You need better mascara. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Because she did lose her in a sense. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. Thank you. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. <laughs> it doesn't sound respectful, Shepard. Oh, it's in here, is it? <laughs> Immediately. Read her diary. From some gallery offered me four years salary for it. Shit. What is it? What even is it? I can't see it. I'm sure it's nice though. It's like a Pokemon. Read the oldest entry. Hey diary, cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name and they let me into the VIP room. Root's name. Life. There you go. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. I'm, I'm on. No, I'm kind of sad that that ended up being. Well, obviously, I'm sad that it ended up being about her death, but it would be so sweet if it wasn't. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, 
Orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, That's a creepy. longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Ah, Morinth. Why couldn't you turn out to not be a monster? Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. Someone mentioned that before? What happened to me? I'm just dumb for Omega. No, you're not. <sighs> That's sad. Shy little queer girl, my heart goes out to you, and your dead self. Close the hollow journal. This is Morin's work. She is attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. I wouldn't say it sounds easy, but it doesn't sound very combat oriented. We'll see. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. 400 years? Warren speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. This is her creepy. Voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. You're her mom. <laughs> Perfect printer. Let's stop her. Yep. Yeah. So what's our next step? Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred. We're clearly going to the VIP. She will go to ground and disappear for fifty years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. You sound like you're working your way toward an idea. Afterlife's VIP yeah. section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. Seems a bit obvious, but uh, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna bait. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. Thanks. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Thank you, I guess. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Okay, I guess we have to just head over there. Oh, there it is. Hi, I forget. I already forget what I was supposed to say. Someone's name. What do you want? Oh, there we go. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight. We'll hurt you. Someone attacks you. It's okay to defend yourself. Noted. Hi. That's how I usually roll, anyway. <laughs> you must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this. Until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. This is a strange loyalty mission. I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? I can barely According see her. According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. Right. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. You don't know much. Do we miss anything? Anyway. Uh... Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful time. Who planned the lighting in I will this? be here and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Ah, okay. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. 
If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. We only met fairly recently, but thanks, I guess. Okay. I don't know if I'll... Oh, hello. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. Hey, more info. On. Thank you. I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. Ah, uh, give me info. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. Well, I, sorry, buddy. I don't have any. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. If you have to get them and like lure him, lure her with them, I don't know. No, I'm not gonna punch anybody. That'll get me thrown out. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every night, I hate it all over again. That's exciting. Why do you come here then? What? Strange people. I'm not gonna start chatting up the VIP place right this second because I want to end the episode. And then when we come back, I guess I'm going to try to city smart or something. This is this is a weird loyalty mission. It's really strange. Um, but until then, everybody stay peachy.